Hey there guys, how are you? So it's nine o'clock in the morning, I just woke up, and uh, my plan today is I have a lot of things to do. Um, first and foremost, I need to go to the breakfast buffet. I wanna go down there, I wanna load my pockets with bacon, put some eggs in my shoes, and then sneak back up here. Uh, because food in Zurich is very expensive, and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit lazy, my hand's a little bit tired. I'm gonna put this right here, because I'm too lazy to hold the camera. Now the reason I wanna put shit in my pockets is because last night at three o'clock in the morning, I got back to my hotel room, and I was very hungry, and I ordered room service. And here's what I got, and this is how much it cost in Zurich. I got a roast beef sandwich, okay? Just a roast beef sandwich with a little handful of chips beside it. That was $13. And then for the extra room service charge, it was an extra $10. So $23 for a roast beef sandwich. It's crazy. It was good though, it was a pretty good sandwich. I rather enjoyed it. And with that said, here's what happened last night. So I went to the, the main press center to pick up my press passes to go to the, the film festival. And when I was there, I was the latest one there. I, I guess I just, I needed some sleep. I hadn't slept in 40 hours. So I slept for two hours and I went down there and I got my press pass and they gave me a ticket for a movie that was playing right across the street. And I didn't even know what movie was. They were just like, yeah, here's a ticket if you want to meet up with the rest of the group, go to it. So I walked into the movie maybe like 30 minutes before it was over. And before I went and sat down, I was like, I have to go pee. So I went to the, the basement restroom and I go in there and there's a guy in the, the stall slash urinal beside me and he has like a little ponytail, right? Looks like a nice guy. And uh, you know, you have to make eye contact when you're urinating beside another man. That's common courtesy. You don't look down, you just look at his eyes. So I'm doing my business, I look up and I look over, and it's John Paul DeGioria. And if you don't know who that is, he was on Shark Tank, he makes the hairline products, John Paul Mitchell, I believe. And uh, I was like, oh, that's really cool. He's here at the Zurich Film Festival watching movies. Pretty awesome. I didn't really say anything to him because you just don't shake people's hand in the restroom, you know, until you wash them. So, you know, I kind of make eye contact, he leaves, I leave. And then I go into the theater, and the first thing I see up on the big screen is that same guy. Yes, this is actually his documentary. It's a film about his life and his business, and I had no clue. And I just seen the guy, you know, ping beside me. So that was pretty cool. Okay, let's randomly walk into my uh, my shower. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm in like an episode of Star Trek, and they're gonna beam me up in here. Look at that. Look at this place. Uh, so anyway, yeah, do you guys like the Echo? I know I do. Uh, and also last night I went to this after party where everyone, like everyone's just dressed up for no reason and everyone's walking around like they're very important, but they, they're just there to like drink free shit and eat sushi. I, I actually ate some sushi last night. Not the biggest fan of sushi. I just like my fish cooked. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of wine and alcohol. I'm like, I can't say no to this. It was a pretty good time. I met a whole bunch of other YouTubers who were invited to this. Uh, we talked about YouTube and things like that and movies. So that was really awesome. And just something about being here in Switzerland. I feel like I'm in like a spy espionage movie. Like I felt like Jason Bourne was going to come out of the darkness at that party and just elbow me in the head and then drag me into the elevator and like take my, my passport. I don't know. That would, <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. All right, let's hit the elevator and go get some breakfast. I'm starving. Check this sexy shit out. Look at this. I got my slippers, I got my robe on, got my bathing suit. Uh, <laughs> look at that. I look like a classy guy. <laughs> and the reason for this get up right here is I'm actually gonna go hit the pool. They have a really badass epic pool on top of the building that goes to the edge and they also have a spa down in the basement. Yeah, a spa down in the basement. I can't wait to check that out. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I'm in another lounge area here. I don't even know what this is. I like, I don't know what to do. I'm just walking around without a shirt on. I, I don't know if this is appropriate, um, but I feel good. <laughs> okay, I'm just walking up some stairs. I have no clue. I hope this is the right way. It looks to be. All right. Oh man. Check this out. This is where you enter. This is where you enter right here. So you swim over there and then it goes out up over there. And here's the uh, rooftop pool. So this is pretty, I, uh, I feel a lot more important than I really am. I just want to dive into this thing. It just looks, I want to feel safe and secure. All right, let's go back inside. I'm wearing my very feminine robe right now, but I feel like a classy, sexy guy. Oh man, I, just, I can't get over the slippers. I just can't get over these slippers right here. I love them. Uh, so now I'm gonna go to the, uh, the basement. There's a uh, spa down there, 
and like a sauna and uh, another pool. So I'm going to check that out as I walk down the stairs, watch me slip and fall and crack my skull and I just lay here and bleed out, but that's okay. At least I will die in cool slippers and an awesome robe. This is a cool wallpaper. Uh, so yeah, there's a sign that says no photos. I wasn't supposed to record or take photos of the pool area, but you know what? Sometimes you got to break the rules. I had to show you guys. Uh, and I don't feel bad about it. It was needed and it was necessary, so. Now this right here is the definition of magical and mystical. Just look at that blue glowing LED light. Oh. Okay, so I'm still here in the Dungeness pool area. This reminds me of that movie, The Three Musketeers, starring Chris O'Donnell, where they go down to the dungeon and there's like this guy who wears like a leather mask and tortures people. Except you don't get tortured down here. You just get to swim and go in saunas and shit. All right, I'm gonna hop in the elevator. I think I'm gonna go back upstairs to the pool. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is awesome. This is probably the coolest pool I've ever been to. I, I don't think you could, how do you top this? Like, how do you top this? I don't know. Uh, it's like a whole bunch of caverns and it's, it looks like something from like, you know, 1655 and it's really awesome. There's like steam rooms and like massage pools and other things that do things. I have no clue. I just see bubbles. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna go to that.